Um, if you go to the Lee Valley catalog into their sharpening, they say to put oil or water with the grit. All it does is it gums up the grit. So then after, after you've got your stone flat, then I use, I, I rinse it off with a scrub brush and uh, soapy warm water. I let it dry overnight before you use it. And then if it's an oil stone, then you have to re-oil it. Okay? Do you apply any pressure on the top of the stone, like just a little bit, or? Um, they say about five pounds pressure. Okay. Um, and I, what I do is I go one way, then I flip the stone over. Okay. So you, is one hand is always heavier than the other. Yeah. Or you, as you can see, oops, this stone was not done that way. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yes. Hold it up this way, line sight. Okay. But it makes no difference to the stone because each surface is flat, right? How often do you have to reflatten your stones? Probably you can get five or six sharpenings, okay, and then it'll start to develop a hollow. But what I do is I just check them on a regular basis. Yeah. I had to go look for stones that were weren't flat because I had done my stones about a month ago. <laughs> well, when, when my kids were competing in speed skating. Um, they're sharpening their skates probably three or four times a week, and the stones have to be dead flat. So I was always flattening the stones. As you, you can see, this one, there's a hollow spot yeah. where it's not. Just go. 
one little spot there that's does your lapping grit have to be corresponding with your stones? No. I use I use um, a ninety times grit for everything. As I said with the um, that's a four thousand grit stone. It feels rough, but it's still it will still polish. Do you use water with this or Pardon? Do you use water with this? Yes. I, next week when I sharpen my chisels, I will show you how. What you do is you soak your stones in water for probably four hours. I have a bucket and I'll just put them in and leave them in overnight. Now there is a chisel that is sharpened with, it's polished with that. You see how, how sharp it is? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like glass. It's yeah. like a mirror, nice and flat. And when I've been I've been using my chisels all week because I've been working on my stairs, and I've been using them without just the palm of my hand on maple stairs. And it just take if they're sharp, it just comes off just like a plane. But as soon as it starts to get dull, you can tell. I don't think I've ever had a sharp one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went downstairs tonight and looked at the chisels that I had sharpened six months ago. And that's the shape of the chisels from downstairs. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> that's usual, though. That's a 25 year old chisel that I use on regular basis. That's what this should look like all the time. I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, my kids always said, how come you never use those chisels? They always look brand new. <laughs> well, that's because I get care of them. <laughs> no, I have another set of chisels that I, my hack and slash chisels. <laughs> but I made up um, tool kits for both my kids, and both my kids were donated a good set of chisels. And they appreciate it. I bet they bring them home for Dad to share them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There. So there's two stones, two sides that are flat. Now, what I would do, what I'll do when I go home. So I'll go down the laundry tub and I have a scrub brush and I'll scrub them with soap, warm soapy water and then rinse them with just plain water, let them sit overnight and then they're ready to go. And then when I go to sharpen next week, I will put them overnight in a bucket of water. Okay. That's it. Yes? Are those ceramic stones or what is that? These are... Um, no. Aluminum oxide? Hmm? Aluminum oxide, yes. <laughs> um, I have a ceramic stone at home, and I, sharp, I, I flatten my ceramic stone the same way. Okay? 